Hey Simply Family, day three of our Advent series, and we've already looked at these amazing truths of God creating us in his image, having the character like God, how he created us to be in community, and all of these amazing things. And then today, we're picking it up in Genesis chapter three, and it says this, Now the serpent was more crafty than any other beast of the field that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God actually say you shall not eat of any tree in the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the tree in the garden, but God said you shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the midst of the garden, neither shall you touch it lest you die. But the serpent said to the man, you will not surely die, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was a delight to the eyes and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate. She also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate. Then the eyes of both of them were opened and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves loincloths. So everything's going so, so well. What God, God created was good, very good. And here it takes a nosedive. It takes a U-turn. Everything goes wrong. Satan comes in the form of some kind of lizardy serpent and comes and deceives Adam and Eve. He comes and tries to get them to start thinking that what God has said is not true, that there's more, that they need to be more like him when they're already made in his image. He works on his own pride and on their pride, thinking actually they needed to be more, more like God when they didn't need to be. And it all goes wrong. And they eat of this fruit, which God said they weren't, weren't meant to. And their eyes are now open. Now they're completely aware of good and bad. Now the ability... So the temptation came, they then stepped into sin by eating of good and evil. Now they are now awakened to the possibility of sin. Sin is now mastering, creeping, crawling at them, gnawing at them, dominating them. And what we see through the rest of the Bible, we'll pick up on a couple of passages, is that sin just begins to work its way into the whole of creation, the whole of humanity. What God created very good starts to go very, very wrong and very bad. And just because they chose to believe the lies of Satan over the truths of God. And Satan still comes today trying to... Uh, tempt us trying to deceive us trying to get us to believe that what God says isn't true or that in some way what God is done or is doing in us isn't enough and that we in some way need to try and work our own life and do our own things and so we end up falling into the sins we fall into patterns of sin or we try to do things in our own strength in our own way and although we want to love and follow God we find that this battle is going on all because of here right at the very beginning Sin is now dominating, taking dominion over humanity and over the people. And so for our lives, sin tries to keep coming and clawing at us. But there's a different way that we can live. We know that, fast forwarding, that Jesus will separate us or has separated us from the power of sin so that we don't have to uh, walk in it any longer. But there's still this tendency for us in to want to fall back into the things of the flesh. And I guess the encouragement for us as we think about it today is just maybe, I, I don't know, just, just think about, it. is there anything in our life where you're believing the lies of Satan over the truths of God? Is Satan trying to deceive you or trying to draw you away from what God's called you to? Or is he trying to pull you down or get you to believe something that you shouldn't or to believe or not to believe something that you should and if you can spot it through the word of god that you can see where satan is working and having a field day then renounce it speak the truth of god's word over you and walk in that instead so again we start to think about this advent we're longing for looking for the coming of jesus and this adds a bit more to the puzzle as we know sin has now at this point entered into the world and we now need a saviour to come and rescue us from it. Tune in again tomorrow for our next instalment.